And I would like to sort of uh, lead into that uh, with the, an experience that you and I had uh, when we went to Peru together. Uh, we we flew there uh, and we didn't really have any plans. And we, we booked this uh, amazing like four-day trip to Iquitos, uh, which is a place that you can only get in via boat or, or plane. And we flew to Iquitos and then we got a like a, I think it was like a two hour boat trip or even longer maybe uh, to where we were staying. So this was like deep Amazon, right? And uh, that night, um, our our guy, what was his name again? Edwin. Uh, Edwin. Sorry? Edwin. Edwin. Um, yeah, he said to us, he's like, do you guys want to do like ayahuasca? And I was like, well you know, you, I think straight away you went, yeah, I was like, okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, so the next night we actually did it. Um, and it was, it was you, me, and then one of the other girls that was kind of staying there and, uh, wow, it was such a crazy experience, wasn't it? You know, we had this like proper shaman that, um, who knows where this guy came from in, in the deep dark Amazon, but, uh, but, uh, yeah, we, we had this, uh, I would say rather amazing experience, um, where by, I mean, I saw things that I I've never, ever seen again in my life. That's for sure. Like, uh, these crazy, almost like monsters coming out of the roof. Um, I had, I had recall of memories of people that I've, that I like have never thought of for like, you know, 20, 30 years sort of thing. And, you know, and then like you end up sort of purging a hell of a lot. And, um, but it was such a cool experience as well, kind of just doing it together, like in the deep dark Amazon. I don't know what your memories like of that, that's, uh, that, that time that we had together. Well, you know, that's one of the greatest, the greatest experiences I think we've ever had. Certainly in my books, right? Because number one, it was so unexpected. Two, you and I were so unprepared and we had no idea what ayahuasca was. I think you had heard of ayahuasca, but you didn't really know what it was. I'd never heard of ayahuasca, so I had no idea what it was. And you and I had made a pact that the, for that trip, we were going to say yes to everything. And so when Edwin said, hey, do you want to do ayahuasca? And I was like, what is it? And he's like, oh, you know, the, the tribes here, they use it in ceremony and they, you know, they connect with the, the spirits of the forest. And we we're like, okay, yes, just do it. And we we're like, how much is it? And he's like, oh, it's two dollars. <laughs> so we're like, cool, we're in. And <clears throat> I still remember us sitting in that room. It was like, remember, it was that wooden deck with the mosquito netting out in the middle of the jungle with that American girl that was also in the camp, Edwin, who came and gave us buckets. And we we're like, what do we need the buckets for? And he's like, oh, you're gonna get sick. And I looked at you and I'm like, what are we signing up for here? And this guy. They call them curanderos, right? Which are like the South American medicine men. But I remember he rocked up in his own little longboat with a pair of like gray shorts on, no shirt, no shoes, and a Coke bottle with that purple liquid of ayahuasca. And then he came in and he had his tobacco pipe and that leaf shaker. And he came around and gave us each that shot. And I think you and I almost vomited just from the taste of it. It was so like hectic. And I remember sitting there and it was super uncomfortable, right? Because all we had was the wooden floor. There were no yoga mats. There were no cushions. It was like the craziest like <laughs> setup ever. And I think after 30 minutes, I looked at you and I was like, Gareth, listen, like, do you feel anything? What are we supposed to be feeling? Because if this carries on in 10 minutes, I'm going to bed. I'm like, I'm uncomfortable. And you were like, yeah, let's go to bed in 10 minutes if nothing happened. And literally, as we said that, but both you and me were just like, oh my god what is going on and i just remember just this vortex and the most insane and most incredible visuals that for when you see that dmt space for the first time is just so unbelievable and so deep and so ornate i mean like you can't describe the patterns and the shapes and the colors and how everything makes sense but you're lost in that space and yeah, that was one hell of a journey, bud. And just to quickly share with you, do you remember? Do you remember the next day going out into the middle of the river and swimming with those pink dolphins, and then walking in the jungle? And I was like, Gareth, you won't believe this, but last night ayahuasca told me it was going to fix my knee because I had a I had knee pain, right? And we were worried. I was worried that we weren't going to be able to climb Machu Picchu because I had this knee pain, and uh, it cured my knee. 
Yes, I don't remember the knee. I remember you had like a, a, a sore knee. I don't I don't remember it being that bad, but I was actually going to mention the pink dolphins. But I was like, because I woke up the next morning and I was kind of, I still felt a bit like of a blur, you know what I mean? And and then we went on this boat trip in the Amazon, like on the Amazon River, which is massive. Like, I mean, I still can't believe how big it was. And we were, weren't even on like a big part of it, you know, we were on this like little estuary part of it. <laughs> and um, yeah, and then I kind of almost had to like pinch myself when we dove in the water and there were these like massive pink dolphins there. And I was like, yes, am I like, am I imagining this? You know what I mean? <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was pretty crazy, but like, I mean, incredible really, wasn't it? Yeah, no, that was... That was such an incredible journey. I think I've told that story in detail maybe like 200 times. Like, incredible. 